crazy, you know, just to walk around and see all of these legends and just to kind of like look back on history on like even before I was thought of being born, like back in 19, early 1900s, mid 1900s, stuff like that. So it was a great experience. You were walking through and seeing all the busts in the, in the history. Was there uh, a player or two that stood out that you said, man, when my career's over, I um, hope I'm in the same class as this guy? Uh, of course, uh, Ray Lewis, most definitely. Uh, he's like a guy who I, I always talk to like year round. We text, talk, and I kind of just shot him a picture of his bus and he responded and was like, you know, you can get that one day, just play fast until you can't no more. So. That's what I'm going to do every Sunday. When did you, where'd you uh, meet Ray and how did you strike up that relationship? It was going into my junior year. He had the little camp at IMG Academy and he invited me and Devin Bush out there. So we kind of built a relationship off that and they kind of carried over throughout my season. What's your mindset in terms of uh, trying to fight for and scrap and tough for playing time as early on as you can get this season? I just feel like it's an opportunity out there for everybody. You know. I feel like an organization don't just draft players to just draft them. So therefore, I feel like it's it's an opportunity out there in the air. So I'm just gonna compete, work hard, learn as much as I can from the older guys, and just like I said, work hard every day. I'm not just gonna be a guy that's just gonna come in here and just be a body. You know, I want to be able to contribute early as I can. How did you think it went for you during OTAs and minicamp? I feel like it went good. It's kind of slow, you know, just trying to learn to play, trying to get comfortable, and uh, I feel like it kind of helped. That kind of like bag me up a little bit from kind of like practicing fast because I was too cautious of what my job was. So I feel like coming into training camp, I'll be well prepared. I'll be able to practice fast and kind of like give the coaches an idea of how I'm going to really look, you know, going forward. Have they given you any sense that you are going to get a shot to really earn playing time right away? I mean, one thing I always keep in the back of my mind, uh, John Dorsey didn't draft two inside linebackers for no reason. So I feel like you know, he, it's an opportunity out there. So we just got to take advantage and practice hard. What's the best advice Ray's ever given you? Uh, he, he called me Young Lion. So he always tell me, you know, you just got to work hard and just play fast, like play with your head on fire. And the game the game just be easy. You know, at the next level, you got to be able to play faster and kind of read plays faster. So it's just really to change the speed of the, of the, of, of the next level. So I got to kind of adjust to that and I'll be all right. If you're named Mac Wilson, you have to be an athlete. And, and preferably a linebacker who hits people. Yeah, which like is. a Mack truck, no question yes. about it. So uh, yesterday we had Greedy uh, Will, uh, Williams say that he's going to the Hall of Fame in Canton, which is interesting because he hasn't played a down in an exhibition game. But you like you like when they feel that? I think it was a great move to take them all down to the uh, Hall of Fame yesterday, the other day. Yes, and make sure, and I know Dorsey, John Dorsey and Freddie Kitchens are doing this, make sure that these guys are aware of this franchise. Right. This is not just any other franchise. When you when you have, you know, Jim Brown and Marion Motley. Otto Graham. And Otto Graham and Bill Willis and Paul Brown in your lineage. Lou the toe. You need to know that. Lou Groza. Yeah. You, you, you don't come in as a rookie and just go, oh, Cleveland Browns, just another NFL team. Well, no, yeah. and that's, not, that's not the case. 20, 21-year-old kids, they were born long after these guys did what they did. So you, you, you must assume they probably were not historians of the game and, and didn't know that. But what they know about the Cleveland Browns in recent years is that they weren't very good. Well, this, this taught them something new. Correct. And I don't mind the youngsters talking whatever they talk. It, fine. I'd rather have guys overconfident than underconfident. Right. Okay. Now, they're the ones that have to live with it, not us. So right. if Greedy Williams gets schooled and people start laughing at their, other players laugh at him, oh, you're really going to the Hall of Fame. It's Greedy. only 60 miles that, to Canton. That's on him. Yeah. We don't have to worry about Great it. Point. He put the target on his own back, and that's fine. Excellent point. 